What's up guys, Jeremy here from rcnetmer.com unboxing the Slash 4x4 Platinum Edition. Now, certainly we're probably one of the last people to unbox this, but I was talking to Brandon a little bit and I realized that we haven't even unboxed the Slash 4x4 and it's one of our favorite trucks. So, obviously if we're going to buy a Slash 4x4, we're going to buy the Ultimate Edition or Platinum Edition, my apologies. And, uh, you know, besides the fact that they don't bother to update the box, and say it's, it still says 2010 Platinum Edition. This is by far and away the most value you can buy in a 4x4 circle truck in one box. As somebody who's bought the Slash 4x4 ready to run, let me tell you, I feel like an idiot for not buying the Platinum Edition. So what's in the box? Well, you're gonna get a bunch of the upgrades that most people who already own Slash 4x4s buy. You're gonna get the center def differential. It's not gonna be installed for you. But right there, that's a $50, $60 upgrade. You're going to get the big bore shocks. Depending on where you go, those could be as much as $80. Bucks. You're going to get the sway bar kit. Um, that's probably $20, bucks, $25. Bucks. You're also going to get aluminum rear hub carriers and aluminum uh, steering blocks and everything. So you're going to get a bunch of aluminum parts, and you're also going to get a clear body so you can paint it. Um, no radio, but you're going to get all the electronics too. So you're going to get the Valenion system, the same Valenion that comes in the in the uh, ready to runs. And you know the reason I didn't buy this originally was without doing any research at all. I heard kit or something like that. This is the very first RC I, I believe that I bought on my own. Like I said, I haven't been in the uh, hobby quite as long like Brandon, and I freaked out thinking, "Oh God, I'll never." I'll have to solder things. I'm not going to be able to solder anything. And turns out it was like a very expensive mistake on my part because this, uh, the, the second day I had my slash 4x4, seriously, the second day I was at the track, walked off the track, bought a center diff. Said to myself, oh man, this makes all the difference on the track. It's so much better. Went back to the pits, charged my batteries, walked back into the store, bought the big bore shocks. So after about the RTR, I stuck in big bore shocks and a center diff anyway. And I mean, it was just stupid. It was a lot of money to waste to learn. So learn from my mistake, especially if you're going to race it, I can tell you, get the platinum. If you're just going to bash it and you don't really care, eh, then it's fine. So it comes basically as a roller. Here's your parts bag. Same as you'd get with anything else, basically. Um, you've got all the extra parts, you've got your tools. No battery, no charger in here, but nobody runs nickel metal anyway at the track, so it doesn't really matter. Now again, keep saying at the track, and that's that's really, I mean, it's still a lot of value for any first time RCers who want a four wheel drive short course truck, but especially if you're gonna race your slash or you wanna race it in a even semi-competitive um, environment, Go with the Platinum Edition. The clear Lexan, who really cares, but it is kind of nice to not look like a total noob when you hit the track. The BF Goodwrench replica tires that they give you, uh, take them right off and uh, replace them with some like J-Concept Double Ds or uh, Proline Calibers. Uh, they're going to be way better on the clay, depending on where you track. But I still throw my, uh, I still have mine. I think they're like two years old. And uh, they're great for backyard bashing, things like that. So you could take off very, very thin Lexan, but again, <laughs> some really big pluses there. One, it's already cut out for you, so you can just paint it, which is really convenient, because it's very tedious cutting out and uh, painting Lexans, trust me. And all the body holes are already drilled. Other than that, you'll notice it looks basically exactly like any old Slash 4x4. You've got some of the aluminum part upgrades that you'll see, which are nice, um, but to be honest, I haven't broke much on my Slash without them. Nerf bars are real flimsy. I would recommend upgrading to the uh, RPM ones. Uh, if you can get them, they always seem to be a pain in the butt to actually get. But uh, as you can see, nothing scary here. You buy a battery, you buy a radio, and you're ready to go. Um, steering servo, same that will come in the ready to run. In a race environment, I think uh, one of the early upgrades I did too, I think on the very first day, the very first day I remember going to the track I bought my Slash at the track, which I think then was like 400 bucks, or maybe have been, yeah, it might have been right around there. Before I walked out of there at the night, I spent like another 300 upgrading the steering servo, 
uh, the center diff, the big bore shocks, and some RPM parts. Uh, actually, here's my slash 4x4. You'll see I've got all RPM parts on there. I run an associated steering servo, which isn't there now. It's in our low C 4x4. And I uh, added some cooling fans, which you'll probably want to do anyway if you're racing indoors. Uh, it definitely helped things run a little bit faster, smoother, nicer without wrecking as much. But as you can see, that was the first day I bought it. Put J Concepts double D's on it, fans, center diff, steering servo. And by the time I got out of there, I felt like a complete idiot for not buying the Platinum, which was right on the shelf next to it. Um, I think at the time I was afraid of spending a lot of money on a remote too and whatever. But learn from me, save yourself some cash. Um, this is the uh, 2010 Platinum Edition Traxxas Slash rolling chassis. If you have any questions about it, post them up on down below. Or if you just want to chat too, I'll notice that the sway bar is already installed for you, which is kind of nice. I just noticed that. Uh, if you have any other questions, post them up on down below or shoot on our forum at rcnightmare.com. Thanks.